well, well. How's everybody? Hey, doing good? Good. I got to grab my McCulloch fixing tools. I want to get after this. Uh, where are you? You little bugger, you. What's that? Is that? Oh, here it is here. Okay, that's that. Uh, that is right there. Okay, so that's all I need. I got the rest in there. That's all I need, actually, is that right there. Yeah. It's the Jeremy Bell 1010. Now I'm kidding you. All right. I need my glasses, don't I? I got to clean them suckers off. I got my buddy's shirt on Vintage Hot Rods. Hot Rod Vintage Rod Shop. Vancouver. It's my man. I sold him an axe. He found us on YouTube. Um, we got him and his boy an axe. It was fun building for him. He was local. Felt local anyway. About 26 miles across the salt truck. Indeed. Let's get my phone out and plug it in. We gotta do a little a little power saw mechanics here today. Okay. For starters, let's get the choke off there. What are you doing there? You oh I see. Gotcha. There it is there. I'm gonna do it. Carbs coming off again. I'm gonna have to check this gas line, friends. Seriously, I am. I'm gonna have to check it. Let's see if our pulse line's working. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna squirt a little WD in the pulse line. Wow, must be turned on. It is, it fired, did you see that? <laughs> okay, well, no, it, it, I mean, it's, I just don't know where this fuel is coming from. I don't wanna swap this line out. I'm not going to, actually. You know what I feel like doing? I feel literally like pulling a carburetor off another saw and sticking it on this thing and seeing if it does the same thing. I got carbs in there that I know run like a hot dibbity top dabbity. I'm gonna do it. I need to do it to rest my mind. Back in a flash. So I don't like taking something that runs like a hot dam and uh, screwing with it. I just, I don't like doing that. But I know this saw, I know it runs good. I always try and start my max without a choke first. Okay, couple, three pulls, nothing, I choke it. saw friends look at this freaking 10 10 it, it, it honestly is ridiculous the shape it's in it's just it, it's beautiful and ridiculous at the same time let's have a look 
what we got. That carburetor around like a top. It just like a freaking top, didn't it? There it is. There it sits. There she be. Okay. You know? I mean, what are you gonna do? Here it is. I'm taking it off. I am taking it off. Where's my little... Oh, you know what I've got here that I really like doing. Okay. Hey, you see that? Bucking used to settle needing those pliers. Not bad, Bucking. All right. So we're just taking another carb off, friends. Ooh, that felt like... That felt like that's been on there a long time. That's why I don't like taking them off. Listen. Hear that? Kink. That's been on there a long time. You wanna, you wanna go easy on the old fuel line too. <laughs> oh, friends, <laughs> you gotta see this. So this thing's mint. It's freaking mint. It almost looks like it's never been off the freaking carburetor. I'm not joking you. And it's a wall rope, okay? But what you need to see is this they get so close huh let's see do i have let's see hey siri flashlight please it's on thank you can you guys see that Guys, gals, women, and children. It's it's completely ridiculous. <laughs> let's see if we can do this. Here. Here, let's do this. This might even give you enough here, you know. beautiful okay I'm gonna put this carb onto this saw and see how it goes so you know what I find I'm always working on a McCulloch or a power saw any power saw kind of down on a tailgate you know what I mean friends and I just realized putting this card back on I was able to just drop the the two little the, the plastic gasket you know the little intake the plastic one intake plastic one and then the the regular gasket on there and drop those nuts through and fed it right in there. Now, I'll tell you something. We just fired it up off of this mint saw. Well, <clears throat> we're leaking gas out of there into there. So that's not a big deal. But but I'm excited to fire this power saw because we just put a brand new freaking carburetor that we just took off from this saw that ran like a freaking dream onto, onto bell hoppers. Because we've been having issues with it. And we're experimenting, friends. That's what we're doing. We're experimenting. So let's go out and do this. We don't need a choke thing on it. It's not going to have to have a choke on it. I can almost guarantee it. I think it's just going to fire right up. Wow. And, and so it, actually it should just run. I gotta, I gotta, I just sent the bellhopper a video of it. <clears throat>
this or that or the other, but it looks like it's running good now. No, it's running great, buddy. It's it's running great, uh, much better. Now I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna take this other car apart and put it back on the saw. I pulled it off just to see we'll see what happens there. Be okay, so I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty, I got a pretty good feeling. Hey, uh, Jeremy Bell, you know, buddy, uh, it, it's fun. You you just went through it yourself, Jeremy. You just went through it yourself, didn't you? With that with that freaking carburetor. Hey, on oh, them all them saws, friends. That's just why people. They, they get frustrated with Max, okay? I, I know people that just get, they give up on them. Just like I'm gonna give up on this stupid, stupid setup. Look at this stupid thing. Look at this thing. I'm telling you, all I did is, I, friends, I knocked it taking it off. I'm not joking you. I, I literally knocked it just taking it off. They need to make this stronger or, or a different system. These people, like, you, you hit it. Like, that's all it takes is just, yeah. I'm gonna melt that to that or something. A crappy system, I'm telling you. I think we fixed it i do i think we fixed the problem I, I i don't know positively but we're gonna freaking go stick it in a piece of that wood down my bank uh me and the bellhopper were trying to figure it out when he sent it to me it was mint it it did it worked great and i don't know what happened something changed could have been something sucked up into the carburetor after he worked on it maybe something in the pulse you don't know friends it's silly little stuff but i just took a carburetor off this almost brand new Pro Mac 1010 mint, mint, and this thing ran. Well, you saw the video. I don't have to explain it to you. I fired the saw, it ran like mint. Sat there and idled for five minutes. Beautiful saw, beautiful, beautiful saw. Everything worked very well. So I stuck it on that carburetor, and it worked. It freaking worked, friends. <laughs>
Talk to you in a minute. Okay, friends, I'm just, um, we got Bell Hopper's saw going here. A lot better now. I'm pretty happy with it. We had a few little issues with it, but it's, I think that's why people give up on Max. I'm just cracking the uh, breakers. Sorry, I gapped out. I'm done. I want to go cut. Let's go cut. I got to tighten up the bar. Go cut. Okay, well, we don't have anything to cut because everything's buried in snow. So I'm going to let one rip off of here. Here we go. I'm just going to let one go sideways here. describes that freaking that little power saw right there right there that sucker right there i've had that power saw forever mm -hmm. what scares me about it is that my remember my little pro 10 it's over at bobby still in a box um hey, what are you doing down there? is that that little pro 10 10 was a ripper i don't think it had the bottom end this one did but that's a pro mac 10 10 right there in that format we've all seen this video before it's a clip that i kept because I've never done anything to that power saw. Um, I just acquired it along my journey, but the only the, the only way I can describe that power saw to you is my hair. Look at my hair, okay? That's that's what that power saw says to me. Crazy! It's nuts, friends. I love this AJ buddy in England. I love you. He loves this freaking clip every time I put it up. That is four feet of green maple. Okay? Uh, I think I show the chain at the end. I'll, I'll... Anyway, friends, so. Oh, there's a little guy there who's making the racket in the background. 
Hello. Little Elliot, Hi. nice little guy. He's pretty groovy. So anyway, we've all seen this freaking clip many times, but I think there was about this much chain left on it. I, I may show it. I forget. I'll, I'll wait and I'll go through. But I wanted to just pop in and say, me and my McCullough. Look at that. That's four feet of freaking maple. Look at the buck on that. Literally, friends, <laughs> look at, I lined right up within a quarter of an inch. That is nice, nice maple. I'm telling you, friends, these little freaking McCullough 1010s, Pro Mac, that's a Pro Mac 1010. It's hungry right now. It's too hungry, actually. It, 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 it feels hungry. Now we're going to buck another one here.
It's getting better. down here boom and then you turn a corner so this contours to the corner that's what they want in the park <laughs> 